Water could be what saves a life in this extreme heat. That's why we're hosting our annual water drive, collecting donations and providing water to anyone in need. Tonight, our Patricio Espinosa shows us the difference your donations make. It's Tuesday and outside already 100 degrees and today still young. As we drive around the streets downtown are practically empty, but nearby we see how others like those without shelter are finding shade anywhere they can. It's closer to 12 noon now, and St. Vincent de Paul downtown of Phoenix Dining Hall is providing relief to those in need. Besides food, the number one commodity, water, and anything else to keep you hydrated. How are you doing, my friend? You think that's going to keep you cool? It better. <laughs> And also making sure everyone stays cool while getting a meal, we find Ben. Ben is a sober creator by day and a volunteer here to help. My job is just keep picking up pictures, find what people need. Others also volunteers making sure everyone gets more than just water. Doing our part, We're trying to make sure we give everybody a meal today. There you go, sir. And the line keeps moving, especially at the water station. And the dining hall is open for a couple of hours. What happens after that? It turns into a heat relief station. That means a little bit of shade, a lot of water, and just a place to cool down. But after five, unless you're able to secure a bed at a shelter, many tonight will be back on their own. And tomorrow, with sunrise, it all starts again. In downtown Phoenix, at 102 degrees now, Patricio Espinosa, ABC 15, Arizona.